fake jailhouse Muslims pluck my l l last nerve. Alright, so you just got out. And your uncle is helping you, you know, uh, you know, get deeper into the religion. He doesn't teach you how you're supposed to properly clean your body before prayer. Otherwise, your prayer becomes void. Yes. It's almost like Allah doesn't even hear your prayer. If you're not washing and properly cleaning yourself after you defecate and then you go pray, you don't know that that's a no-no in your faith, but you're a Muslim. I'm a Christian, but I know that. I be around you all day, and not once do I see you pray towards Mecca. First thing you want to say is Asalaamu Alaikum. What is it, the end thing to do? I know that a lot of people, you know, when they're in jail, they, you know, Muslim up, so to speak, um, for protective reasons. Okay, I get that. But when they come out, they no longer need that same protection, and they carry the faith into their civilian life, their supposed to be normal life, their beyond the gate life, and beyond prison walls life, and they do it, it's like almost a, like a fad, like the end thing to do, the end thing to say, like I'm not understanding, you want, the first thing you want to tell a woman is that, yeah I'm a Muslim, but then you fornicating with her. You know? Then you're dating women who are not Muslim. You're dating women that expose their body. You're dating women that, you know, don't shave all of the hair on their body because that's part of what men's supposed to do as well. But yet I'm having to tell you these things. And then the worst thing you want to do is some of these Muslim jailhouse Muslims is oh God forbid a woman know more than them and the woman tells them or teaches them about their faith oh that's a no no oh then they tell oh then that the superiority uh, it, it, it all of a sudden comes out but how come you only know you know the submissive scriptures of the Quran but you don't know how to pray with power how to actually get Allah to recognize your prayers now I know people will say well Christians don't always live right and do right and they fornicate and everything like that I understand that they do every faith does I just can't take, I just can't tolerate, it works my l last nerve, jailhouse Muslims, I'm just sorry, it really does. Now they could be saying the same thing about Christians, they could be saying the same thing about me, and that's their prerogative, but I'm not a jailhouse Christian, 
I didn't come to Christianity to save my butthole. I didn't, you know, have to come to Christianity because I needed some little debbies and nobody's putting no money on my commissary. Um, that's not the reason I came to Christianity. So until they, um, whoever is saying something, until we on an even playing field as far as the reason that you came to your faith, then, um, yeah, it, it's no comparison. You can't compare. Okay, so... I just can't take it. I just, I just can't take them. I, I really can't. And then these women, when they come home, these women are actually listening to what these men are saying and what they're teaching because they're only teaching what benefits them. And I'm talking about the man. The man is only teaching what benefits them. The man is only teaching the woman his woman, he's only teaching her the stuff about the religion that benefits him. You know? And it's just, and, and, and women fall for it. They fall for it. They're going around talking about Assalamu alaikum. They're going around walking behind him. He's not even providing for the home. But you're going to walk behind him or you're going to listen to that part. You're going to listen to the submission part, but you're not going to listen to the part where you're supposed to be the provider. You up there worrying about your lights getting cut off, and he's still telling you to walk behind him. I got to worry about my lights getting cut off. You ain't got to worry about me walking behind you, beside you, in front of you. You ain't got to worry about me even being in your presence, to be honest. We can be cool, but you won't be called my man. That's it. And that's all. I just can't stand a jailhouse Muslim. They work my l last nerve. Oh, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. I don't see Christians coming out of jail and walking around and boasting about how they're Christians. You notice that? And I know it's a lot of people that find Jesus in jail. But they don't come out and have to tell her, like, I even saw a neighbor that just got out not too long ago. Him and his friend was outside with their prayer uh, carpet praying. Doing this for attention, clearly. Why do I say that? First of all, your prayer, your prayer carpet is supposed to be one of the most valuable and sacred things that you have. And here you are taking that sacred item that is partially assisting you with your prayer connection with your creator. And here you are taking this this sacred item and not only are you praying outside amongst everyone including women and all which is also a no-no you're not supposed to pray in the presence of women women don't even if you go into a, a mosque if you notice women do not pray with the men they are to be separate oh, I'm tired of that's the doorbell I'm tired of knowing more than these jailhouse Muslims, and I'm not even a Muslim. You got all the time in the world in there. I don't understand why you don't know the Quran backwards and forwards. You ain't in there but doing nothing but playing some spades and eating noodles. Writing two and three women, probably. And if you're lucky, getting a visitor to. That's it. What, what else are you doing the other 23 hours a day? I understand. If you want, if you want, at least if you, if you want that to be your, you know, your, uh, your gimmick, at least study your craft. Just like a drug dealer. He studies how to 
properly sell drugs, how to successfully sell drugs, how to sell drugs and hopefully not get caught, how to elevate himself in the game. So if that's your, 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 your niche, if that's your gimmick, and you're not taking it seriously, then learn to master your gimmick. Read, my brother. It's fundamental. Mm, I can't stand a jailhouse Muslim. Praying all on the ground outside. We all see you. We all see you looking like a fool. All I done turned his back. He's looking at you like, huh. ain't listening to your prayers. You still got dingleberries. As you bend down and kneel down to pray. He ain't trying to listen to you with dingleberries. Jailhouse Muslims, boy, kill me. They be the first ones trying to go to the strip club and stuff. Where in the Quran you find that? I need to know. I'm going to have to read up. Because clearly I missed a lot of pages. I really did. And I don't proclaim to be perfect and I don't proclaim to know it all. But clearly I know more than the jailhouse Muslims. So next time. Someone tell you they just got out of jail. And they tell you. I said, I'm like him. You look at him and say, For real, bro? For real? <laughs> Good night, you guys. Good night.